Hello everyone. It is 6.30 on the dot. We are going to get started here in a second. I'm going to let some of my friends come on. Say howdy. It is the end of September already. Can you believe it? End of September, ready to go into October. Woohoo! Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kathleen. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. Hello, everybody. Awesome. So, we got some friends coming on. I am going to. Hi, Gloria. I am going to get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and start crafting away. So, let me. Um, Oh, first, let me show you. I know some of you saw the pictures. Um, we had a car class the other day, and I just wanted to show you the pictures up close. This was our first card. It has, the, you know, it's made with the gathering, gather together. And this is another card. And this one was made with the beautiful, I think it's called Beautiful Friends. I love this card. Super, super pretty, super pretty. So that was that. We're going to get started into ours because I've got a lot to do. Um, I've whoops left out some um, stamping or stamping um, using the big shot. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move some of this out of the way. And let me show you what we're making. Move that out of the way. Hi, Kay. Um, today we are going to make this little treat bag right here. Okay, bro, I'm going to show you how to make it because it's so super easy. So super easy. And so this is what, it's got little pumpkins in it. And yeah, it's got a little little um, leaf trinket up there. So yeah, we're going to make this today. Super easy. Promise. I promise. It's so super easy. And let's see. Let's move some things out of the way. We're going to start. See, if I put this here, will you guys see it? I just put it right there maybe if I, I'll put it just like that so we're gonna start with a piece of paper um, this is early espresso and I've cut it at three inches and it stays at the 11 and a half so really all you have to do is just cut it three inches that's that's all because it's already at 11 and a half and I mean 11 sorry not 11 and a half I'm going to move some stuff because I'm going to open this arm. So you guys know we get a new trimmer coming up here. It is going to be available soon. And I hope it's just as wonderful as this. Oh, wait. Okay, I've already cut it. What am I doing? I'm scoring. <laughs> I am scoring. So we're going to score this. Let's start at this end since I'm already in here. We're going to score this at 10 inches. Right there at the 10 inch mark. And let's score which means I'm going to have to move you, buddy. And then the next one we're going to do is at, let's see, 10 inches, 6 inches. I have to remember, my notes are over there. 6 inches right here. Okay, and then we're going to go down to 4. 4 inches right there. Okay, so 10, 10 6, and 4. 10, 6, 6, 4, either way. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to, make our um sorry get my bone folder out we need to to put a crease in all those scores we just did right so let's do that we don't want to have it without having our score lines in it very nice score lines with your bone folder and see that it just so nicely fits right there just like that just like that okay so we have that part done now what we're going to do is i'm going to take one of these little bags these are our let's see what are they called i want to make sure i get the right name these are our three by six um are they gusseted yes gusseted cellophane bags sorry it would help if i had my glasses on but this is what they look like cute little bags and they have this right down here at the bottom that i'll show you that too let me put those back in there so you open them up and see they have the gusseted side there so we're gonna just put some candy in here right now and then we'll we'll close it up as we get closer but i, I just want to have this part ready okay 
and these will fit down in there and then I might need to put some more in there because I don't have a lot that's the reason why this is kind of the folds are where they are is is so that you can fit a lot of candy in there sometimes we make them and they're not they don't hold very much candy so we want some that's going to hold a lot of candy and see how that bottom that bottom right there that just folds right up which is great when you have a lot of candy okay so that's the part we needed that part done now what we're going to do is I am going to want to cut a few things out with my big shot. So I'm going to bring my big shot in. We're going to move some things over. I already have some things cut, but we're going to bring the big shot in. We are using the colors Cajun Craze and um, I forget what this one's called. Uh, Crush Curry. Sorry. Crush Curry. Let's bring the big shot in because let's see. There we go try to bring it in easy so what we're gonna do we need first we're gonna we're gonna cut out our leaves first and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this part right here this right here this scallop part right here it's not hard at all it really isn't so you guys you notice I have two of these why do you have two do you ask well you remember I lost them the other week so now I got them again so now I have two so let's go ahead and we are going to ah, ah we're going to cut these two now if you look at these remember that they have the embossing that's within them so all we need to do is i'm just going to go ahead and get this little wet get this one a little wet because i know that this is where i want the two of them i know i'm going to need at least two so I'm going to put them both down there. I use a little bit of water. Some other people might use something else. Or they may use nothing at all. You know, that's possible too. So let me hold this down. Hold it down. So sorry for it shaking. Okay. And then we'll take these off. And they just pop right out. See that? They absolutely just pop right out. And there's my other one. Oh, so pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so we need those two. Now, the other thing that we need as we, and no, this one won't come off, as we are cutting out our leaves, I'm going to leave these two over here for them to dry. Then I'm going to take our little um, apparatus here for our gift holder, our um, holder thing. And this part, I'm not going to put the circle in. This is the part that has the flap. See this? So this flap that's up here, we're not going to do it on that part. We're going to do it on the opposite end, which is this part that doesn't have anything on it. Okay? So that part, let's just move this back through here. We'll do it this way. We want, we want to have a regular circle. And we're using these two from the layering circle framelits. And I'm going to put this right here. Kind of close down to the bottom, but I want to get it in the center. Just like that. Move it over just a smidget more. And then we're going to run it through. Okay, so at least our circle part will be done, right? Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Kelly. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I know I got jumped right in and got started, but I sure do appreciate you guys coming to join me today. I love it when you guys come and and visit are you taking time out of your day I appreciate it okay so we have that part right so now we need to go back in and we want to make we want to make this part do we want to keep it let's see how about we keep it with the yellow with the crushed curry okay and we're gonna need this and we need the scalloped one so some people take this and they do do it this way where you can do both of them at one time and i'm sure we could try it that way too let's see we're gonna see if it works okay so we'll have it there like that and then because we need both pieces so we need the scallop piece and we need to have the circle piece kind of cut out of that right all right well hopefully it worked let's see 
What? What? There it is. That's the part that we need right there. We don't necessarily need this part, but whoa, there it goes. But we can use it on another card, okay? We can use it on a card or something else like that. All right, so I think we're done with the big shot. I'm gonna move the big shot and I'm gonna pick up my framelit, my runaway framelit. And now we're gonna take, we're gonna take our little cute little apparatus here and we are gonna take some green glue. You guys can use snail on this if you want to, but I think, I think green glue would be better. I know green glue is kind of hard to always um, use, but just use very, very little, okay? Sometimes we uh, are heavy handed with the green glue and I'm just gonna keep it right there. I hope you guys are having a good day. Ah, did I, I mess up some of that? Just a little bit. Hope you guys are having a good day too. It's a beautiful day out. There we go. All right, so now, you know what? I'm gonna turn this around this way so I can see the whole inside. And I'm gonna put it down right there. And I'm gonna move it over. I don't wanna see the insides at all. I don't wanna see the brown part, the inside. So I'm just gonna move that around just so I can see. Perfect, see that? Absolutely perfect, good. All right, so we have that part done. And now, since we have that part done, we have everything scored the way we want it scored. I'm gonna put my top on here. We've got our leaves done. We are almost done. This is so simple, so easy. Okay, so now we take our, take our goodies and we're gonna fold over the flap just about that much. Maybe, what is that, like an inch? Maybe about an inch over. But we don't wanna see it on the other side, okay? So just make sure we do that. We don't wanna see on the other side. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little bit of a staple in there and I'm gonna hold it so that I can finish putting the rest together, okay? So let's do that. So then, see that? How easy is that? That's gonna go right there and it's gonna sit up. So let's do this part. We want, this is the inside flap. So this flap goes over this way. So the inside flap, I'm gonna put a little bit of tear and tape on. Not a lot, because we do want people to get into it, right? So we're gonna put a little bit of this in there. Just, just like that. And then I'm gonna use my paper piercer and I'm gonna pick up this piece of tear tape. Now, you know what? I just noticed another thing you guys could do if you wanted to, you could round the corners. You definitely could round the corners if you wanted to. That is totally your option. Okay, so then now we're gonna just make sure that these two are even. Should I, can I, maybe I'll hold it this way. You guys can see it better. I just wanna make sure that these flap sides, they line up over here and they line up over here, just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see, sorry. Okay, that they both line up. Now this piece is from the Neutrals Designer Series paper that came like this. This is the Neutrals, okay? So this is Early Espresso, which is the same color as the color that we're using. And for that, I think I'm just gonna keep using my green glue, just a little bit. Put a little bit of green glue on there, just like that. Don't need a lot. Put that in there, and then we'll lift up this, put it right on here, and oops, watch out for the glue monster, because the glue monster will have glue everywhere. There we go. You see, now my fingers are all sticky. Okay, so that makes it pretty right across there. That's one part, we got that one part down. All right, let's keep going. So now we have our leaves. Our leaves are all done and beautiful. Can you see our leaves right there? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, one of them is down and the other one is up. So we're going to take this one and this one, the one that is down, I want to put that one, my green glue over there. Let's do it on the other side because this one was on this side, right? I don't know if I should hold it up or put it down. Let's do it on this side, just right there. 
so that they can see all the cute little pumpkins on the inside too, right? So we're gonna leave that there. And then we're gonna take our other one. This one though, I wanna do something di whoa, different with this one. We're gonna use some dimensionals. And we're gonna pop this one up in the back, all right? So this one is gonna go, we're gonna take this back off of there. And so we have the tail right there. This one, the tail is gonna meet it right there, okay? Easy peasy. Two leaves, super easy. Then you get your ribbon, your little bow. And this is also made from, um, of course I forget the name. It's just as soon as I get here, I always forget the name. But we're gonna put this right here. And I promise I will have all the measurements and stuff like that there. This is gonna go there. How fall does that look? How cute. Like right in time for fall. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so we have that part done now. We want to take, these are the leaf trinkets. See, I don't, re, I don't forget all of the names of everything I'm working with. Some of them maybe. <laughs> okay, so now this one, we wanna put this on with a glue dot. And where did my glue dots hook? If it was a snake, it would have bit me. So we wanna put this on with a glue dot. Just punch it, pop it on there real quick. And then, We'll put this right in the center. Whoops. Uh-oh. Did it even, did I even get the glue dot off? I hope so. Okay, so now that part is on there, right? So now we wanna have a little sentiment. See our little sentiment? So the sentiment part is also from the stamp set and the stamp set is the gather together. Excuse my arm. Is from the gather together. We've been using this a lot this September because it's fall, it's beginning of fall, and we're like, oh my gosh, it is so fall. And I absolutely love fall. You guys know that's my favorite. So we're gonna use this one. It's a season of thanks. And what we're gonna stamp this on, this is on three quarters, yeah, three quarters of an inch. And we don't have to have it like any particular size because we're just gonna stamp it and then we're gonna make banners on it. So let's use our Cajun Craze. We're gonna ink up really good. Put that out of the way. And we're gonna stamp. Let the ink soak in, lift up. Beautiful. And now, so we don't need that anymore either. Let's use our snips. And let's just make a banner. Make a banner on both sides. We cut there on both sides, don't need that. And let's go to this side, make a banner. So easy, so easy. There we go. Oh wait, we got a little, little piece right there. I hope I'm on camera, am I on camera? Ah, there we go, we got it. Now all we need is another dimensional. Oh my gosh, you guys, how fast did this come together? Seriously. We did it in like under what? Maybe five, 10 minutes? It hasn't been 10 minutes yet. So super easy. And then we take this and put it right there. Oh, what? How cute. Aren't they adorable? So can you guys see this sitting like at a seat for Thanksgiving? Like sitting on one of the table spots for Thanksgiving with a little bit of candy on the inside? I think so. I think that's super cute. Super, super cute. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is um, our last little fall treats. I think next month we're going to do all Halloween because Halloween is next month. So thank you guys for joining me. I surely appreciate it. Now, don't forget, um, I appreciate everything you guys like, share, um, and the hearts. I love them all. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. Leave a comment below if there's any questions that you guys have, and I will see you right here next week, right? Okay. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.